When you assign a view template to a view, the view properties are controlled by the view template. Then when you make any changes to the view template, the views with that template assigned to it will update. But there may be times when you need to temporarily change a view property. The easiest way to do this is to use temporary view properties. In the current view, 01 entry level, a view template has not been assigned. Since a view template has not been assigned, I can change any of the view properties in the view control bar and in the properties palette. But when I assign a view template, these properties will be controlled by the view template. I'll scroll down in the properties palette to the identity data section. As you can see, the view template is currently set to none. I'll click none to open the apply view template dialog. Then I'll select Architectural Plan in the list of view templates and click OK. Now the Architectural Plan view template has been assigned to this view. You can see that by looking at the View Template parameter in the Properties palette. Realize that there is a difference between applying and assigning view templates. When you apply view template properties, you simply apply those properties to the view but they can be modified afterwards independently of the view template. However, when you assign a view template, the view template controls the view properties of the view. For example, when I scroll through the parameters in the Properties palette, you can see that most of them are dimmed. This is because they are now linked to the view template and can only be modified in the view template. To temporarily modify any of the view properties without unassigning the view template or changing the view template, you can use temporary view properties. To use temporary view properties, click temporary view properties in the view control bar. When I do, a flyout menu appears. I'll click enable temporary view properties. Now a blue border appears around the drawing area and the words Temporary View Properties appear in the upper left corner as a reminder that you have enabled Temporary View Properties in this view. Now all of the controls in the View Control Bar and Properties Palette are available. I'll change the Detail Level to Fine in the View Control Bar. Then I'll type VG to open the Visibility Graphic Overrides dialog for the view. On the Annotation Categories tab, I'll deselect Show Annotation Categories in this view. I'll click OK to close the dialog. Now, none of the tags, dimensions, or any other annotation objects appear in this view. At this point, I can focus on the model elements and the actual building design. Also, I don't have to worry about accidentally changing any view properties that will affect how the view appears on the sheet. When I'm finished with the Temporary View Properties, I can click Temporary View Properties in the View Control Bar and then select Restore View Properties. Now the view appears as it did before. You can also temporarily apply another view template. To do this, click Temporary View Properties in the View Control Bar and then select Temporarily Apply Template Properties. Revit displays the Temporary Apply View Template dialog. This is the same as the Apply View Template dialog. The list on the left shows all of the view templates that have already been created in this project. You can use the Discipline filter to show only view templates for a specific discipline, or use the View Type filter to show only view templates for a specific view type. When you select a view template in the list on the left, you can see the value of each parameter in the list on the right, along with which parameters are included in the template. I'll select Site Plan and then click OK. Now the view appears as a site plan and the blue border once again appears. I'll click Temporary View Properties again and choose Temporarily Apply Template Properties. 
This time, I'll select Structural Framing Plan and click OK. When I do, those properties are temporarily applied to this view. I'll click Temporary View Properties again. As you can see, there is now a list of recent templates in the flyout menu. So you can easily select a view template to temporarily apply those properties to the current view. When you are finished with Temporary View Properties, select Restore View Properties. So as you can see, you can assign view templates to a view and still quickly modify the view properties to look at the model differently by using Temporary View Properties. Also, instead of creating working views and plotting views, you can create working view templates and plotting view templates. Then you can assign the plotting view templates to the view so that they will print properly and temporarily apply working view templates while modeling to show additional elements and notes as needed.